pledge, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Welcome one member of our audience and those <laughs> listening in this evening. Our first agenda item this evening is uh, minutes. Mr. Chairman, I move to approve the January 21st, 2009 regular minutes as written. Second. Motion being made by Mr. Harris, seconded by Mr. O'Leary. Do we have any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Unanimous? Well, Mike is getting ready. Uh, telephones near the mics. Joe? Mine's off. Yes, sir. Mine's off. All right. Mr. Chairman, I move to approve the January 21st, 2009 executive session minutes as written. Second. Motion by Mr. Harris, second by Mr. O'Leary. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Unanimous. Correspondence, yellow sheets down to the very end. I mean, we yeah. Public comment? <laughs> Perfect timing. <laughs> <laughs> what? He ran the other way. He had his <laughs> chance. Yeah. Okay. He had his chance. Okay, next item on our agenda are appointments. I think there's a sheet in the, uh, in the uh, this evening's package. Mm -hmm. In addition to... Water Commission. Why don't we do that one first? Um, Mr. Chairman, I move to place a nomination the following name for a reappointment as a member of the Water Commission for a term to expire on December 31st, 2011. Joseph Fodi, 25 Valley Road, incumbent. Second. Motion by Mr. Harris, seconded by Mr. O'Leary. Any comments? Sir? Uh, this gentleman's an incumbent. Um, I spoke to him a while ago. This is a long time coming, actually. I, I don't know why. It just never, I just never got it on the agenda. Yeah. On time. Are there any other openings on the Water Commission? Ah, uh, there's there's another opening, but I'm uh, looking into it at the moment. Has it been an advertisement recently? I believe we put one out yeah. a couple of weeks ago. I think that's why we. I, yeah, actually, now that I remember, that's why we were holding off on this appointment. We okay. were hoping to get another one, but it looks like it's going to be a little while. So. Okay. We have a motion and a second, and since uh, there's only one candidate, uh, call for a standard vote. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? <coughs> Unanimous. And then there's a uh, youth, youth service, service committee. Are you want to read that one to Mike? Correct. Mr. Chairman, I move to place a nomination the following names for reappointment slash appointment as members of the Youth Services Committee for terms to expire on December 31st, 2011. Ed Santu Santu Santuoso. Santuoso, all right. 10 Sandsburg Lane. Luis Santuoso, 10 Sandsburg Lane. And Jamie Ray Shoppy, 16 Emerson Road. Motion by Mr. Harris, seconded by Mr. O'Leary. We have uh, three openings and three, opening. three candidates. No other. Uh, I spoke with uh, a correspondent with uh, Mr. Santuswaso on email. That's why I still don't know how to say his name. I apologize. <laughs> um, and uh, these three are ready to go. Okay. Discussion. And there's three openings, so we'll go for all three of those. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? It's unanimous. That does it for appointments. Balconis, April Town Meeting Warrant Articles. I see we have. Well, then we should have a draft of both a special town meeting and an annual town meeting. Uh, I would kind of like to go through them uh, article by article. If that's okay with you. They're on blue sheets, Greg. Oh, I know. Okay. 
Mr. Chairman, would you like me to start with a special? Sure. Um, the first article is amending the budget. It's the traditional article that allows us to move funds between various budget line items. At this point, we have received a request for the Water Department. Um, the, the Water the Department st funds would be coming from water? Correct. So this is a, a, an addition to the uh, budget? Correct. Is there a reason? No, well, that's what I'm looking for. The uh, budget adjustment would be um, to pay for an unbudgeted increase in the cost of water supply by the Town of Andover. The Town of Andover raised its rates by 5.15% over the past year. <coughs> um, the second item would be um, an amount for cost of treatment chemicals, of which the Water Department informs us the costs have gone up as much as 300% over the past year. And the final would be um, an additional sum of money due to employees exercising their one-time 15% longevity bonus. The total cost of the uh, three items in total is roughly $100,000. The uh, employees that have requested their longevity bonus, don't they have to do that at the beginning of the year? There's no time frame set forth in any of the con any of the contracts on the municipal side that prescribe the exercising of that right. So they can do it at any time they want. Correct. <coughs> and with respect to water, don't we have a contract with Andover? And uh, we do. Contract allows for. We have a contract that addresses um, the fact that the town will pay a rate which is consistent with the water users in, in the town of Andover. Mm -hmm. So this rate increase would be... All right, um, so it's built in as... It's built in as, a, as an escalator clause within the agreement that we And made. we didn't know this was coming in advance? So they, um, they raised the rates in mid-year or something? Correct. That's my understanding. The rates would have been raised in mid-year. Okay. Any other questions regarding water? And I assume there will be others as we go. Uh, Absolutely. Yeah. <coughs> Prior year's bill. This would be a 2008 bill that we haven't covered yet. Correct. There are uh, several items that we're aware of. One of them is an amount for professional services. We had a consultant come in and do some work um, in looking at options on the health insurance budget. The cost of that is $540. The second is uh, some supplies that were obtained through the town clerk's office where the bill was rendered late. In both of these cases, the bill was rendered late. We did have monies reserved. <coughs> the amount of that is uh, approximately $207. Uh, $207. And transfer of the MTB e settlement funds. We are. The, case the, gets settled. the amount is open. The amount that we've collected to this point is uh, $690,000. And any additional funds that we receive between now and town meeting will be added. The, um, <coughs> the intent is to reserve these monies for the water department, specifically for improvements in capital and infrastructure, and to establish a separate fund that would allow that to take place in the So this fund would be different than the Stickney Well Fund because the Stickney Well Fund is defined specifically. The language in it doesn't allow us to use or put money into it for another purpose. Or that's that's my understanding and exactly the fact that this would establish another fund. However, the the intent of it would be identical to the Stickney Well right. Fund. Uh, but we can't put the money in the Stickney Well Fund, which is what we've talked about. Not not at this point. This is an option that we ran through the Department of Revenue, and this is one of the alternatives that allows us to transfer the money prior to the end of this fiscal year. Okay. That's more important. Keep in mind that the, the exact <coughs> wording of this article needs to be approved through town council, so it may look a little bit different when you do see it. So if this flowed into the general fund and was free cash, we could then put it in the Stickney fund? which is not a good idea at this point. But conceivably, conceivably you could if, if it were to flow through to free cash in its entirety. Yeah, okay. And that is always right, the So this is a, a reason for doing this, additional reason for doing it. Do it. We're going to not do it. 
What? For doing it or not doing it? No, for, for uh, setting up the account. Okay. Are you looking like you <laughs> were concerned about something? So <laughs> I'm always concerned about the sticky fund. Yes. Yeah. So this is not aimed at rating anything. The sticky fund for sure. Okay. And we have <coughs> Fund Pavilion at Ipswich River Park. Yes, this is a uh, proposal through the uh, Rec Parks and Recreation Department. I believe uh, when the commissioners were here to see you in two weeks ago, they indicated that they'd like to have this in place uh, prior to the, uh, um, for this coming summer. And the amount that's been requested is $60,000 and it would be funded through proceeds available via the Hillview um, Enterprise Fund. Can they sign off on yeah, this? Yeah, they've signed off on this. Okay. This is in conjunction with the uh, bathrooms that are being built out at Ipswich River Park, mm -hmm. and they're looking to fund this out of available uh, surplus funds. So this is coming in out this of cash. fiscal year. This yeah. is not a bond issue. Yeah, but this, this fiscal year. Yeah. Okay, and the snow and ice deficit. Uh, you give us a little yeah, update of where we are at this point. Uh, I'm still waiting for the accounting office to put together the... Uh, Cost with the last storm that would have taken place last Wednesday. Mm -hmm. um, I'd like to uh, defer on giving you an exact amount until we get in all of the bills from that storm. But okay. needless to say, where are we to date? Uh, you know, prior to that storm, uh, yeah, that we number. were. I'd have to go back and look, Bob. I just yeah, don't yeah. want. I want to throw out a number and have it be off by any amount of money. So needless to say, we're in a substantial deficit at this point, and it, it's growing. And, and is causing us a concern going to the end of the year. I think we're, we're really looking at unprecedented territories in terms of our snow expenditures. Mm -hmm. <coughs> more tomorrow. Yeah. More tomorrow. Yeah. We're good. A long way to yeah. go. The snow good. couldn't throw us a bone this year. I can give, um, give you an accounting tomorrow. Yeah. Account. Just, just in relation to Mr. Chairman, I, I've been getting some emails and some calls in relation to our uh, snow removal policies and uh, practices and uh, I've assured some of the people and emailed back to them that uh, you know, we have looked at it with checking to see if uh, you know, we're spending too much or, or too little obviously uh, uh, DPW does a terrific job in uh, snow removal and I informed some of the people of the information that Mr. Hanlon informed the board in relation to uh, looking at other communities their expenditures similar sized communities with the same uh, amount of road miles and we're actually doing it in a more cost-effective manner than, than other communities, so we're actually getting a better job for less money. Um, actually, had somebody as recently as yesterday say, you know, if I see another plow go by my yard uh, during a storm and uh, doesn't need plowing, you know, I'll pull my hair out or something like that. You know, we have these people on the clock for sure. You know, as far as on an hourly basis, as far as the plowing and sanding. <coughs> Uh, of the roads and if there's an ongoing storm they do do a good job because we treat the roads to uh, clear us sooner by the same token you can't be taking them off calling them back taking them up I'm, I'm confident that the uh, Department of Public Works is doing a very good job of monitoring our expenditures and <coughs> um, ensuring that we're we're doing a, a very good job at a very reasonable price and I know we're in a deficit situation but um, I don't want people to think that uh, we're doing too good of a job. I mean, it's a public safety issue. It gets our kids to school uh, more days than other communities that have their kids going to school. Um, so they're not going at the 4th of July. And, and it's also allowing our uh, businesses to uh, to operate and our people and residents to uh, operate their vehicles safely. So it's a public safety issue. I, I don't see where it's an area we should be cutting back on. And I uh, just want to go on record as saying I think we've, we've done a pretty good job of monitoring our expenditures. DPW has done a great job, Mr. Hanlon, Mr. Hanlon's uh, guidance and tutelage over the years, and it comes down to uh, additional training that our people have gone through, seminars that they've gone to, uh, to ensure that we're uh, fighting the storms in the most up-to-date me methods that are available, the most cost-effective way. So uh, I just hope that people don't think that they're going to either come to town meeting or try and uh, come here and convince us to, to cut back on our public safety issue in relation to snow removal. I, I don't see it as an area of cost savings, mm -hmm. particularly. Uh, I'll comment from the point of view that I've been at the house for a number of the storms this year. 
because of the timing where they've 